we get an insight into something that we've never imagined possible in the Amazon. And I think LIDAR is one of these things that's gonna completely change how we understand. What if the first great civilization of the Americas wasn't the one we read about in textbooks? What if it was older, bigger, and far more advanced than historians ever dared to dream? In the jungles of Guatemala, an orbital LIDAR satellite just answered those questions. It scanned the legendary lost city of El Mirador, a place nearly impossible to reach on foot. The results are in, and they are world-changing. The data uncovered a sprawling kingdom with a population of millions connected by the world's first highway system, and it completely defies the logic of how civilizations are supposed to rise. The light that pierced the darkness. Deep within the Mirador Calakmul Karst Basin of northern Guatemala lies a jungle so dense, so unforgiving, that it has swallowed history whole. For generations, this 600-square-mile patch of wilderness was considered a backwater of the ancient Maya world. To put it mildly, experts believed that any significant civilization existed far to the south and much later in time. The few ruins peeking through the canopy at a site known as El Mirador were thought to be interesting but not revolutionary. Getting there required a grueling multi-day trek through mud, heat, and dangerous wildlife. What many overlooked was that the jungle wasn't empty. It was just very, very good at keeping its secrets. The thing nobody tells you about archaeology is that sometimes the biggest discoveries are made not with a shovel, but with a satellite hundreds of miles above the Earth. A team of researchers led by archaeologist Dr. Richard Hansen decided to aim a revolutionary technology at this green hill. That technology is called LIDAR, which stands for Light Detection and Ranging. You can think of it like radar, but instead of radio waves, it uses laser beams. From an aircraft or satellite, a device fires hundreds of thousands of laser pulses every second at the ground. These pulses bounce off the first thing they hit a tree leaf, a vine, but some find their way through the gaps to the forest floor. By measuring the time it takes for each laser pulse to return, computers can create an astonishingly detailed three-dimensional map of the terrain, digitally stripping away the entire jungle canopy. When the LiDAR data from the El Mirador scan began to process, the archaeological world was shaken to its core. The first images that appeared on the screen were not of a few scattered temples. They were of a landscape completely reshaped by human hands. What emerged from the data was a civilization so vast it defied all logic and every accepted theory about the ancient Americas. The scan revealed not just the city of El Mirador, but an entire connected kingdom. There were 964 previously unknown settlements all linked together. The screen lit up with the ghostly outlines of houses, palaces, defensive walls, canals, and agricultural terraces. But the most stunning discovery of all was a network of ancient superhighways, stretching for over 110 miles, connecting every part of this lost kingdom. It was the world's first large-scale highway system, built to a scale that would rival modern infrastructure. This wasn't just a city, it was a sprawling, interconnected megalopolis that thrived 2,000 years ago. The jungle had hidden the cradle of Maya civilization, a society far older and grander than anyone had ever thought possible. But this was only the first shocking revelation. The details held an even bigger surprise. A City of Giants As scientists zoomed in on the LiDAR data, the true mind-bending scale of El Mirador began to come into focus. The city wasn't just big, it was a place of giants, dominated by structures so massive they challenged the imagination. The crown jewel of this lost kingdom is a pyramid known as La Danta. Hidden under a mountain of earth and trees, its true size was a mystery. Until LiDAR peeled back its disguise, the results were staggering. La Danta rises over 230 feet high, but its true power is in its volume. The pyramid complex is built on a massive platform base that covers an area of 45 acres, roughly the size of 34 professional football fields. The total volume of rock and fill used to build La Danta is estimated at 99 million cubic feet. To give you some perspective, that makes it one of the largest pyramids in the entire world by volume, even bigger than the Great Pyramid of Giza in Egypt. You see, what makes this so incredible is when it was built. This colossal structure was constructed around 300 BC during the pre-classic period of Maya history. 
This was an era that historians had long characterized as primitive, a time of small, disconnected farming villages. The existence of La Danta proves that theory was completely wrong. A project of this magnitude would have required a massive organized workforce, a stable food supply, and a powerful central government with visionary architects and engineers. It's a structure that simply shouldn't exist in that time period, yet there it is. And La Danta wasn't alone. Another giant pyramid, El Tigre, stands nearly 180 feet tall, dominating another part of the city. But not all things are what they seem. A city is more than just its big buildings. What truly makes a civilization is its ability to connect its people. The LiDAR scan revealed an intricate network of causeways, known as Sakbiab, fanning out from El Mirador to its neighboring cities and towns. These weren't simple footpaths. Some of these causeways were up to 130 feet wide, raised several feet off the ground, and paved with white plaster to reflect the moonlight, allowing for travel at night. They were perfectly straight, running for dozens of miles through swamps and across hills. Building this system was an engineering feat on par with the pyramids themselves. This network proves that El Mirador was the heart of a true kingdom, a political and economic capital that controlled the entire region. It was the hub of a state-level society, something historians thought didn't appear in the Americas for another thousand years. This highway system was the circulatory system of a civilization, moving goods, armies, and people with shocking efficiency. To support a city with an estimated population of over a quarter million people and a surrounding kingdom of perhaps one to two million required another engineering miracle, an industrial scale food production system. The LIDAR also uncovered vast networks of agricultural terraces and complex water management canals, turning seasonal swamps into fertile fields. This was a society that had mastered its environment on a scale never before seen. The evidence was undeniable, but it opened up a much darker and more profound question. An empire before Rome. The discovery of the El Mirador Kingdom doesn't just add a new chapter to the history of the Maya, it forces us to tear out the first few pages and start over. The thing that has so many people crazy about this discovery is the timeline. The peak of El Mirador's power was between roughly 300 BC and 100 AD. This means a massive state-level society with a centralized government, huge cities, and advanced infrastructure existed in Mesoamerica a full millennium before the famous classic Maya cities like Tikal and Chichen Itza rose to prominence. To put it another way, when Julius Caesar was conquering Gaul and the Roman Republic was becoming an empire, an equally sophisticated and populous kingdom was thriving deep in the Guatemalan jungle. This finding completely defies the long-held logic of how civilization developed in the Americas. The old model was a slow, gradual progression with small villages slowly growing into towns and then much later into cities. El Mirador proves that the Maya got it right the first time. They didn't just build a city, they built a super state, the first true kingdom of the Americas, and they did it right out of the gate. This society was the political and cultural innovator. Their art, architecture, and writing system were the foundation upon which all later Maya civilizations were built. They were the mother culture that no one knew existed on this scale. But this raises a terrifying question. If this civilization was so powerful, so advanced, and so enormous, where did it go? A society with a population of millions doesn't just pack up and leave, yet around the year 150 AD, the entire El Mirador Kingdom collapsed. The cities were abandoned, the great highways fell into disuse, and the jungle began its slow, relentless process of reclaiming the stone and plaster. For nearly 2,000 years, this great empire vanished from human memory, becoming nothing more than a series of strange-looking hills in an impassable forest. The reasons for its downfall are still a subject of intense debate, a puzzle with crucial pieces missing. Some of the most compelling evidence points to a massive environmental catastrophe of their own making. A society of millions puts an immense strain on resources. To build their gleaming white pyramids, they needed vast amounts of lime plaster, which required burning staggering quantities of green wood. It's possible they literally burned their own forest to the ground. 
This deforestation would have led to catastrophic soil erosion and altered rainfall patterns, triggering a prolonged drought that their advanced canal systems couldn't overcome. When the crops failed, the foundation of their society would have crumbled. Other theories, supported by the recent discovery of extensive defensive walls and fortresses in the LIDAR scans, suggest a different end. This may have been a world torn apart by endemic warfare. Perhaps intense rivalries between cities exploded into a kingdom-wide civil war, a brutal conflict that bled the civilization dry. Or maybe they faced an external enemy we know nothing about. What we do know is that the end was shockingly swift and total. This wasn't a slow decline, it was a cliff edge. The abandonment of El Mirador was one of the greatest societal collapses in human history, a ghost story on a civilization-wide scale. The silence that fell over this once teeming metropolis, a silence that has lasted for two millennia, is perhaps the most profound mystery of all. But as we look at the ghostly images from the LIDAR, is it possible we're still missing the biggest piece of the puzzle? The future of the past. For anyone watching this, it's easy to get caught up in the incredible technology and the sheer scale of what the LIDAR found. It feels like the whole mystery has been solved overnight, as if a magic wand was waved over the jungle to reveal everything. But the thing is, what the satellite has given us is not an answer, but a map filled with thousands of new questions. LIDAR can see the shape of the ground, but it can't see what's inside the pyramids or under the floors of the palaces. It can't tell us the names of the powerful kings who ruled this empire, the language they spoke, or the beliefs that guided their lives. You see, the scan is just the first step in a journey that will take generations. Every single one of those 964 newly identified sites needs to be explored on the ground, with shovels and brushes, not just lasers from space. Are we missing a key detail that explains everything? The LiDAR map shows us the skeleton of the civilization, but the story of its people, their art, their writing, their daily struggles and triumphs, is still locked away in tombs and artifacts buried deep beneath the jungle floor. What many have overlooked is the monumental, almost impossible task that lies ahead. Excavating even a small portion of a site as vast as El Mirador is a colossal undertaking. There are no roads here. Every piece of equipment, every bag of food, every person has to be brought in by helicopter or on a week-long mule trek through unforgiving terrain. The work itself is a battle against suffocating heat, venomous snakes, and torrential rains. This isn't just a scientific challenge, it's a race against time. The region is under constant threat from illegal logging operations that clear-cut the very forest that has protected these ruins for two millennia. Even worse are the looters who dig destructive tunnels straight into the hearts of ancient temples, searching for jade and pottery to sell on the black market. They destroy centuries of historical context in a single night, ripping pages from a history book we haven't even had the chance to read yet. The race to uncover these secrets is more urgent than ever. It makes you wonder, what else is hidden out there? If a civilization of millions could be completely lost under the jungles of Guatemala, what other forgotten empires might be waiting to be found? Could there be another El Mirador sleeping beneath the endless sands of the Sahara or hidden in the unmapped corners of the Amazon basin? The LiDAR scan proved that our planet has not given up all its secrets. It's a humbling reminder that history is not a closed book. Sometimes it's a landscape that's just waiting for the right kind of light to be read. The truth that defied logic is now the new reality, and the work of understanding it has only just begun. The story of El Mirador proves our world is still full of incredible secrets. But what if the reason for its collapse wasn't a warning, but a blueprint for our own future? Let us know what you think below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more journeys into the unknown.